Hey everybody, it's Brooke. How you doing? It is Friday. <laughs> oh, in a world that's crazy, why not be crazier and just create your own days? I mean, why not? It just makes me giggle. <laughs> It is beautiful out. The birds are chirping. The sunshine is out and it's warm. Yeah, it's beautiful. Beautiful day in East Tennessee. It's a beautiful day for some baseball. Anyway, I wanted to do an energy check-in. Um, I have been super busy the last couple of days working, just trying to get things um, done and ready for my house to to list. I actually started the process of listing it today. Um, whew, it's been a journey getting here and it's finally here and it's time. Um, I'm nervous because this has been my, my foundation. This has been my foundation. But the beautiful thing is, is I'm no longer the person that I was when I moved in here. Um, you know, it's been emotional, scary, emotional, scary. Woke up the other day and I had, um, been bit by a spider. <laughs> so today I was like, I might need to read, you know, what the, um, spider, um, spirit animal has to say and just kind of do a check-in. I might not be listening. <laughs> oh, so, okay, our moon has finally moved into Sagittarius, and um, a lot has been moving. A lot has been moving in the collective. I can see the programming of the narcissist and the empath relationship um, really falling away, and the irony, because, <laughs> you know, I always have to look at the irony of things. Um, when I was married, I uh, purchased a bamboo that you kept in water with rocks and all that, uh, when I lived in California, and... <laughs> Over the last couple of weeks, I noticed that the bamboo was kind of like turning a little yellow. And it hit me last night. You know, that the irony of what I'm seeing fall apart with the collective. And that narcissist empath relationship that I had with my ex-husband, seeing me being able to grow and be above that understand the dynamics of it and what it was meant to teach um that's the only thing that i have left other than my kids that i had i put some pictures back for my boys you know but that's really all that i have left for my marriage <laughs> it's dying <laughs> so that programming is being removed from the collective people are starting to become aware it makes me very hopeful um, especially with the moon being in Sagittarius I feel really hopeful in that program being healed and there's been a lot of us that have been working on that and healing that and understanding the reason behind it and being able to recognize um, our own toxic behaviors, protection mechanisms that we develop over years of being in that, being able to recognize it and to step onto the highest timeline. Like I'm really feeling and I hate to put it this way, but I'm really feeling that divide. And I pulled 
a win-win outcome is in forecast, and it's the Libra card. <laughs> My ex-husband is a Libra. <laughs> so, that relationship is being balanced. There's definitely been a reset with the programming of the empath and the narcissist relationships. There's been a ton of healing throughout the collective, and I see you guys. I've been right there with you. You know, it's no coincidence that I share the same birthday as George Washington. It is no coincidence that we are right here in this moment. My ex-husband is Nathan, and my children are Jacob and Luke. It is no coincidence that I'm here with all of you guys, you know, and really the messages have been pretty clear, like really clear to me to really stay grounded in your truth. And the next card that I've got is communication is key. And this is going to be the new moon in Gemini, really talking about our feelings, talking about what we're seeing. Um, taking that mask off, really taking that mask off of illusion that we show people and really fully stepping into not giving a fuck what anybody thinks or anybody says. Like once you reach that level to where you can talk from a place of love and be able to share the other side of the coin. I mean, last night I texted my boys and I was like, you know, all I care about is if I did my job that God put in my lap. Did I teach you compassion? Did I teach you empathy? Did I teach you sympathy? Did I teach you how to notice when, when people aren't where you're at and to be able to turn around and to to lend a hand to be able to not judge those that don't have everything that we did because you never know libra scales of justice you never know when you're going to see the other side of that coin some of us some of us study religion. Some of us study other things while other of us have to live it. And if there's anything that I put into my children is teaching them to always be humble and to see the other side of the coin. Because there's always another side. There's always another side. And then the next card we get is balance, spirituality, and practicality. I mean, um, full moon and Pisces. So really being able to balance being able to speak how you feel, being able to balance standing up and standing in your truth, being able to balance um, fear the fear because us impasse we feel it we feel it in the collective we feel it when we go out we feel people's intentions and really being able to balance that but also being able to stand in your truth and not afraid to speak up um you know we've <laughs> we've got to be able to speak up so I mentioned being able, or mentioned being bit by the spider. And I really wanted to read what the spider spirit has to, has to tell us. So this is a 56 card, which breaks down to an 11. Spider spirit, make your dreams real. 
Weaving your dreams into the fabric of life begins with a single thread of intention. And then spirit joins you as your co-weaving partner. Take but a single step to make your dream a reality and spirit will take 10 towards you. For the universe is designed to support your dream weaving. Spider spirit arrives when you need reminding of the awesome power of co-creation with spirit. Ideas and resources will begin to appear as if by magic as you begin to bring your dreams from the realm of intention into the world in into the world of the senses where they take form. The action you need to take is to be clear about your intentions and then act as if you have become the one that lives the life you desire. The web of creation has an uncanny way of coming together to weave the beautiful pattern you set in motion. Another Another message of Spider Spirit is about any creative project you may be considering writing, painting, music, journaling, gardening, etc. Now is the time when inspiration wants to be channeled through you as something creative, even artistic and tangible. Creative projects are successful now. If you are so inclined, let yourself be open to abundance. As we go through the next week, um, go through the next five months with Pluto being retrograde, you know, for me, I always love to take the moment of the planets being retrograde to really go within. I am a big introvert. I, I like to go within a lot and retrogrades give me that opportunity to go within and to be able to see what's really going on, whether it's in the generational lineage, whether it's outside in the world. It is my guide to let me know where I'm at, what I need to tweak what I need to focus on. And once we remove that mask of illusion that we show people, our ego goes with it. And then we're able to approach things from love. I mean, everybody just wants to be understood and everybody just wants to be seen. So I just felt it was really important to share the spider spirit. Um, I hope you all have a beautiful weekend. There's a tournament this weekend. I am going to stay up there in the mountains, unplug for a little bit, and just enjoy the gift that we've been given. Okay? I love you guys. Have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you soon. Bye.